Number three, calculate the speed of sound on a day where a 1500 hertz frequency has a wavelength of 0.221 meters. All right, so uh, sound, right, travels as a wave. So they're asking us for the velocity because they're saying speed of sound. So they're asking us for the velocity of a wave. And we need to know how velocity is related to both frequency then, which is given in hertz, and wavelength, which is given in meters. And we know this relationship, right, that the velocity of the wave will be equal to the frequency multiplied by the wavelength. This is definitely a formula you're going to want to memorize. Right? It comes in handy. So in order to find the speed of sound, a speed of a sound wave, we got to know the frequency of that sound wave and the wavelength of that sound wave. Unfortunately, they just gave it to us, right? This is easy peasy. If only all the problems in physics were like this, this would be glorious, right? All right, I'm kidding. Actually, some of the harder problems are a little more interesting. Um, these are kind of just what we call uh, plug and chug. But, you know, it, it, I like them. They're nice. So this is 332, I'm not really sure what I'm saying at the moment, 332, um, I'm just trying to talk to someone. I'm talking to the computer screen all day, I'm pretending to have a conversation with you through the computer. So um, anyway, starting to get a little loony here. So 332 meters per second, and that is the velocity of that uh, sound wave. There you go, guys. And again, thanks for tuning in. If you'd like to help us, the best way to help us out would be to hit that subscribe button. All right. And also to tell your friends, if you find these videos helpful, help us spread the word. We appreciate your help very much. Thank you.